Hey, I'm Brandon with uh, Voodoo Forge. Now, I shot a lot of this video months, months ago, and it was uh, part of my, my cutting steel. This is episode four. This is my, my big bandsaw. And when I was, I was cutting it, I actually broke a bandsaw blade. And I've had this bandsaw for I don't know, about a year and a half. I got it used at an auction. Um, but that's only the second bandsaw blade that I've broken. And it's not a bandsaw that I use every day. So it took me a while to get around to, to getting, well, that's not true. I've had that blade sitting over there for months. I just didn't change it out until recently. So I just finished this video. Um, and, and this explains my large bandsaw and, and kind of shows you what it will do. But uh, let me show you what it'll do and then I'll explain kind of what I, what I use. Well, here she is. She's big, she's ugly. She's got, uh, she's got some things wrong with her. But uh, when I picked it up, well, at the auction, uh, <laughs> that auction hadn't even started and uh, a guy came over and, and leaned on, on the door here and, and broke it off. It was just being held on by a couple of rivets, but I was like, well, I can, I can pop those back in. But I just hadn't got around to doing it. And uh, I tore up my good rivet gun. I had a, a pretty expensive well rivet gun, riveter, pop riveter. And I tore mine up and I finally picked up a cheap one because it's this thing, just using it like this has just been dangerous as I'll get out. So uh, I'm gonna fix that and uh, a couple other little things and then I'll show you how she works. I'm gonna call that fixed. Okay, so when I was first shooting this video, oddly enough, the blade broke, so I get to show you changing the blade. When I've got to cut big stuff at an angle, uh, a lot of times the, the built-in clamping uh, won't work because it actually, when you go to clamp it at an angle, it'll push your stock this way so you just can't get it where you want it to cut. Uh, so to, to bypass that, I just clamp it to the, the fence. And also, the fence, sometimes you got to put some spacers on it. Well, if you're cutting a 45, you always have to put spacers on it. Otherwise, the, uh, the bearings, on the, the the saw won't clear the stock that I'm cutting so uh, sometimes you got to kind of jerry-rig it up but it's still the best tool I've got for cutting big material even at an angle Well, that shows you uh, kind of the capabilities of it. It's a, um, 
I think it's a 14 by 8. Um, I bought that van saw. In reality, it was a little more than a year ago. It was last summer, but I've been using it for years. I bought it from my, my mentor's estate at uh, their his, uh, his, uh, auction. Um, but it is not a tool that I use every day, but there is a lot of work that I do with big stuff that I could not do. Yeah, that's not true. I could do I could do the same work, but it, I would have to be doing a lot of cutting with uh, cutoff wheels on angle grinders and things like that. So I couldn't economically do the same work. It just gives me the ability to cut some big steel. Big steel, a lot of times equals big projects. Now, not every big project. You're, you're not always going to have to cut, you know, uh, four by four steel or six by six steel or the the big uh, uh, tanks and pipe and stuff that I cut. You don't always have to do that for big projects, but sometimes you do. This makes it a whole lot easier. Uh, so, and, and like, you know, like I explained, I mean, I can go months without using the saw, uh, but then sometimes it'll it'll be going. Uh, every day for for a week. Uh, it is it's not something if you're just setting up your shop. This isn't something you have to have right now, immediately, right off the bat. But it's something you're going to want to look for um, eventually. It's a big band saw, um, and there, you know, new ones uh, are, are of course new ones are out there. They're a little pricey, but kind of kind of like anvils. Once. Once I bought this one, and I wasn't looking for one anymore, I've seen these showing up in uh, Craigslist ads. I've seen them at auctions and things. So it, it, they're out there used, and you can get them for a, a pretty good deal. The blades of them, um, for them, we've got a, I don't, I don't know if it's nationwide. I mean, honestly, this isn't, if I'm in another state, I'm not looking for things like this, but Fastenal, they're, they have a, a local office, um, just a, uh, 20 minutes down the road from me. That's close to things for me. 20 minutes is close. And uh, I can call them, order the blade size that I need. Uh, blades for it cost around 40, 45 bucks. Uh, they've got the blade in a couple of days. So parts are available. The bearings are all standard bearings you can get at any kind of farm supply, store, uh, tractor supply, carriers, and things like that. So. It's, it's a great saw. Now one thing mine, it does need is the, the switch that turns it off when it's done cutting. Uh, short it out on me and so I've got it just straight wire breath. Plug it in to turn it on and unplug it to turn it off. It's, yeah, but that's something I need to fix on it. Uh, but anyway, it's, it's just another one of, of the tools that I have in my arsenal when it's time to cut stuff. And this does give my little shop a capability to do some larger things. There are, uh, I have, uh, it started with one one lady uh, in Franklin, Tennessee, and they wanted these, they're just a fabrication job, but these tables with this uh, six by six tubing for the framework. And this makes a job like that so much feasible. I can I can I can price it where they'll do the job and I've got the tools to where I can do the job easily and make money on it. So anyway it's it's another in the, the cutting steel. I've got some more of these coming up. I'm getting into some smaller tools for cutting steel. But anyway I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I hope you got something out of it. Uh, if you like the video hit the like button and if you have any questions or comments uh, about this, uh, please leave them in the comments below. And if you like this video and you'd like to see more videos like it, please subscribe to the channel. All right, y'all behave yourselves now.